Today we're using the brand new DIY cottage colors. I picked up this adorable little table for only $3.99 at the thrift store. It's still in great shape. It's got some amazing spindles and I will be able to ship it. So we are going to get it painted up today, make it look just a little more updated and modern using the new DIY all-in-one paint. This is the cottage color one step in the color crockery. I gave this table a nice wipe down. I have some hot water here on a cloth and I'm just getting off all of the dust. Time for a little color comparison here. Let me turn down my ring light. Okay, there we go. So we've got a crock here and we've got the new crockery color. What are we thinking? Thinking I'm about to spill it, but it's a really great match. Since this has a built-in top coat, you need to make sure that you give it a nice stir before you use it. Get all that top coat incorporated into the paint and I am going to pour out here into a separate container that way I'm not double dipping into this can and contaminating possibly contaminating my paint since the DIY paint doesn't have any preservatives there is a risk of it kind of getting funky and smelly if you get a bunch of dirt and debris into your can I'm painting furniture. If I can, I always start with the piece upside down to get all of those tricky underneath spots, and then I'll flip it right side up for the second coat. Here is our coverage after one coat. You can see there are some spots that are, look really good. There are a couple spots I missed and a little bit of streaky. So now I have flipped the table over and we will start painting that second coat with it right side up. And that really helps keep from missing a lot of spots. Cottage colors do a great job at self-leveling. So here after two coats, everything has great coverage. It's nice and smooth. It looks amazing. Now it's time to turn it over and paint the tabletop. Two coats covered the top of this piece very nicely. I did two coats and then just a couple little tiny touch-up spots where I had missed before and I've got some great full coverage. Now I'm gonna go in with some 220 grit sandpaper and give this a light distressing. Since it has the built-in top coat, it won't make a huge mess inside, but if I waited a couple of weeks or a month and went back and tried to sand this, it would be really, really hard. So I'm gonna do it while the paint is dry but still fresh. Since this is a table, I'm going to go ahead and put some extra protection on the top. I've got my DIY Big Top. I've been using my Klingon brushes today. These are super easy to clean out, so all of these top coats will come out of the bristles nicely.
Usually you'll catch me using waxes to seal up my paint, but with the top of a table, I really want it to be protected with a top coat. So I love Big Top because it is so easy to apply. It dries pretty quickly. You're not worrying about runs and drips. If you haven't tried it out yet, definitely give it a shot. And here is a look at this finished side table much more modern, adorable, perfectly distressed, and I think this took me a mm, couple of hours total, which includes the dry time. This table is now available for purchase and shipping. I will link it down in the description box below. Drop me a comment. What do you think about this first DIY cottage color called Crockery? I'm in love. To purchase any of the products I'm using or my projects, you can go to upcycledbybrew.com and I'll be sure to drop those links down in the description box below as well. For this next project, I took apart a box I got for free when somebody was closing their little boutique here in town. I've used most of the other pieces and this was the lid. Um, it looks like it was an old cabinet door. Here's a gorgeous rusty handle. But this was the lid. I think they DIY'd the box. Anyways, I'm going to attach this piece I got for free from one of the estate cleanouts. This is a little tall and big to ship. So I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and cut this piece of wood in half. That way I can have two pieces of project and I can leave this handle on for a different reason. Cut the piece in half with my circular saw and now I'm using my pneumatic nail gun to nail an extra piece of wood on the back to keep the board together and make it hang evenly. I wanted to add a little pop of color to this piece so I grabbed my Americana which is a beautiful green shade stirring it up really well to incorporate that top coat and then we are just going to do a little random painting on this piece of wood. This is going to be a super quick easy paint job and help it look a little chippier to match that piece of white wood in the background. Now I'll distress a little around those edges where the paint didn't cover and this is just going to make it look more authentically aged. Like I didn't just paint it, but it's been painted forever and now the paint is starting to wear off over time. Attached it to my board after drilling a couple pilot holes with some wood screws and I'm just going to tap a little of this paint over that gold screw to help it blend in. I would have to say that Americana is hands down my favorite new color. I am just in love with this beautiful soft green and how easy this paint makes my thrift flips. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know what else you would include in this cute little wall pocket besides the floral. The final new color is called Blue Hills. I am in love with this beautiful, bright, summery blue, and I'm using it today on this little topiary I thrifted for a couple of dollars just to brighten it up. The base of it was pretty drab, and I just wanted to give it a nice pop of color for summer. And even though this paint is self-sealing one step, I am going to go ahead and add a little bit of the DIY white wax. If you would like to add a little extra touch, the waxes work beautifully over the cottage colors as well. Once the paint was dry, I would just add it a little bit here with a chip brush and wiped back the excess with a paper towel. Be sure to leave me a comment. Let me know which of the three new colors is your favorite. If you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe and follow and send this video over to a friend who doesn't know about the wonderful world of furniture painting yet. Let's spread the love. Till next time, I'll see y'all later. Bye friends.